A months long I team investigation continues tonight. A DC inspector general's report determined that two fire instructors did not sexually harass female cadets. However, the report admits that behavior displayed was quote potentially inappropriate. Jay Corp has been following this story. He's joining us now live from the newsroom with more. Jay. Well, Leon, in February, when the allegations surfaced, D.C. Councilman Tommy Wells called on the Office of the Inspector General to investigate. Seven months later, the OIG's findings are out, serving as a relief to some, a source of outrage to others. The scandal that haunted the D.C. Fire and EMS Training Academy for months is over, according to the D.C. Office of the Inspector General. In a three-page letter sent to City Hall, OIG investigators revealed that after a few cadets accused two instructors of harassing them, they interviewed a number of training academy employees, including all the program's cadets. Among the allegations they listed, Cadet A claimed an instructor, quote, chest bumped her before she slid down the fire pole to motivate her to slide down. Cadet B alleged an instructor, quote, put his hand on her shoulder and stroked her hair and neck while telling her he liked her hair. The instructors denied any wrongdoing. In fact, one of them indicated some of the allegations had been fabricated. The document ended by stating there was a, quote, lack of sufficient evidence for OIG investigators to find a basis to conclude that the conduct, while potentially inappropriate, rose to a level constituting sexual harassment. Councilman Tommy Wells called for this investigation. It's absolutely unacceptable for any type of sexual harassment in, in our government, and I won't tolerate it. But he is satisfied with the findings. They took action. I'm satisfied by that. And certainly if any of the complainants want to come forward and talk to me at, you know, to my office confidentially, they're able to do that as well. But at this time, they haven't. And so I feel confident that this has been dealt with. Months ago, we spoke with a parent of a non-harassed cadet who heard the stories of harassment from other female cadets. Wednesday, that parent said she's, quote, disappointed in the findings, adding, quote, it's unfortunate for the victims to know that this can happen and nothing will be done about it. According to the OIG's report, the fire department did take action against one of the instructors recommending a three week suspension without pay. But a fire department spokesperson declined when we asked tonight to say where the instructors are now stationed or if they'll return to their positions at the fire training academy. Live in the newsroom, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News.